Welcome to That's the Word, wholesome tales for the whole family. I'm Father James Yamauchi. Today's story, Return to Sender. Ascanio opened the letter, intrigued. It was from a man named Augustine. Strange, Ascanio thought. He did not know this man. As he read, he became more and more confused. This Augustine was speaking about founding a religious order. The tone of the letter assumed that the reader already knew something of this endeavor, but Ascanio knew nothing about it. He read through it again. Then he checked who it was addressed to. Ah, that made more sense. This letter was not addressed to him, Ascanio, but to a relative of his with the same last name, Fabrizio. The kid who delivered it must have gotten the two men mixed up. Anyway, Fabrizio lived in the same city, so Ascanio made sure the letter got to him. Ascanio also admitted that he had read the letter, and the two of them got to talking about the new religious order. Yes, Fabrizio was thinking of helping found the religious order. The whole endeavor was this Augustine's idea. He had moved to the city recently and become friends with Fabrizio. Augustine shared his idea with Fabrizio, and the two began corresponding about the new order. Fabrizio asked Ascanio if he was interested in the new order. Ascanio answered yes, though more jokingly than seriously. He was studying for the priesthood, but he was not entirely sold on Augustine and Fabrizio's ideas. A few days later, Ascanio met Fabrizio in the streets. Now, Ascanio was accustomed to wearing fancy clothes. He had grown up among pomp and circumstance, and enjoyed it very much. However, Fabrizio was dressed very simply. Ascanio was struck by his holy composure and by his simple dress. He was so struck, in fact, that he immediately returned home, put aside his fancy clothes, and adopted a much simpler garb. He would join Fabrizio and Augustine in their order. Ascanio still had a long way to go on the road to holiness, but he had come a long way already. In his early twenties, while seeking a worldly career, he was struck with a mysterious partial paralysis. Realizing the error of his ways, he promised to enter the priesthood if he was cured. After his cure, he was still reluctant to reject the world until the death of a friend prompted him to fulfill his vow. Amid studies and volunteering at the Hospital of the Incurables, he still prayed for God to show him which direction to take. The answer came in the form of this misdelivered letter which put Ascanio into contact with Father Agostino Adorno and Father Fabrizio Caracciolo and ultimately led him to found with them the Order of Clerics Regular Minor, also known as the Adorno Fathers, a young man named St. Francis Caracciolo. And for this week, 
That's the word. Some of our stories that we've done on the podcast, they're very easy for us to write and to record. There's other stories like Return to Sender that takes us a bit longer. With particular with this story, St. Francis Caracciolo is not a well-known saint. His order that he founded, the Adorno Fathers, is not a very large religious order. So there wasn't a lot of resources out there that we were able to access on his life. We had heard the story about how he had co-founded the order after having a letter misdelivered to him, and that's how he found out about it. But that was all we knew. And for these stories, we need a few more of the nitty-gritty details. Fortunately, we were able to find this book by an American Adorno father on St. Francis Caracciolo. Reading through this was very interesting because the priest was able to uncover some other books on Francis Caracciolo, in particular, a biography that was previously unpublished, written by St. Francis Caracciolo's nephew, which provided a lot of details previously unknown or previously incorrectly recorded about the saint's life. For instance, in this story, we mentioned that he had a partial paralysis before it was recorded as being leprosy, or then that he was a priest at this time of the story. Father Augustin Adorno and Father Fabrizio Caracciolo were both priests at this time, but Francis had not yet been ordained. If you enjoy That's the Word, please share the word. You can see the story extras for this story, Return to Sender, at thunderrock.org, where you can see a picture of St. Francis Caracciolo, and you can also see the book we use as our source. Thunderrock.org is also where you can sign up for our weekly newsletter and where you can find our social links and our email if you have any feedback or story ideas. Thanks for listening, and join us next Wednesday for another wholesome tale for the whole family.